I'll keep this one super short so that if it is required, you can just fire it up and start using it ASAP. Um, so it could be kind of like a an SOS session, a quick bit of energetic first aid. I found, to be fair, I've had back issues all of my life, but I did find that sometimes it could also correlate with uh, periods of IBD. And I have seen this with clients that sometimes the back, the lower back can cause problems when the large intestine or some part of the gut system is firing off. So if you are experiencing back pain with IBD for whatever reason, or you just happen to be having some back pain, it's just a thing. Use this session, see if you can get some relief going in a, in a short time. So firstly, uh, tune into the discomfort in your back. Just be comfortable for this session as well, wherever you need to be, whether it's standing, sitting or lying, just doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Just be comfortable. Tune into that pain and in your mind, out of 10, rate how painful it is, how intense it is. 10 is cripplingly, can't move, agony. And one is hmm, feeling good, not really aware of it. Okay, get that number. Try and make a mental note of it and tap with me now, even though I have this back pain. I'm acknowledging it now. And I'm open to the possibility I can free myself of this pain. Okay, top of the head, just follow what I'm doing. This pain, this pain in my back, this pain in my back. I'm tuning into it now. So really tune into the space in your back that's hurting, always stiff. And if it had a color, what color is it? Just see what color comes into your mind. And if you had a shape, what shape comes into your mind? Keep tuning into that area. Okay. I'm going to tap on the collarbone point with me now. You know kind of what colour and what shape it is if it came to you. Don't worry if it didn't. Carry on anyway. Tune into that pain, that area of pain. If it had an emotional feeling, what would you name it as? What's sitting in your back? Well done. Tapping under the arm. Acknowledge it now. This pain in my back. And I know what feeling it is. I'm acknowledging this now. Cross the wrist and I'm willing to let this go. I understand that my body is protecting me and communicating. And I'm listening. Take a nice deep breath. Maybe as you breathe in, just imagine that breath moving down to that space that's hurting. And as you exhale slowly, you're letting some of that pain release. Yawning is a release. That's why I'm not being rude. You're not boring me. But there's no point me trying to stifle it. I'll look even weirder. Tune into that part of your back that's been playing you up. Rate the intensity of the pain out of 10. 10 is intense, one is I feel good. Okay, well done. You might be able to remember the number before. Has it gone up, has it gone down? Now we're gonna try something different. Back of the hand, doesn't matter if it's left hand or right hand. With all of the fingers of the other hand, I'm gonna ask you to, to uh, put them between the fourth finger and the little finger, between the bone, bony part, right, as I'm tapping now. You're gonna tap 50 times on this point, let's go together. Well done. Both collarbone points, tapping underneath both of those nobbles five times, nice and firm. Take a nice deep breath. Breathe down into that space in your back that's been hurting. Exhale slowly. Tune into the intensity of the pain in this moment. Doesn't matter what it was earlier. Doesn't matter what you think it might be later. What is the pain level right now? Check that number against the numbers you had before. Is it going up or is it going down? Once more with that technique, back of the hand, 50 taps.
Well done. Underneath both of those collarbone points, five firm taps. Big inhale and exhale. Tune in, rate the intensity of that pain in this moment. Gauge it against the numbers you've had previously. And then let's finish on the side of the hand, even though I have been experiencing pain in my back, I love and accept myself. I'm not angry with my body. I accept myself fully in all ways. I'm listening to my body now and I'm supporting it. I'm doing the best I can. I allow my body to communicate freely with me. I do not fear this pain any longer. I allow this pain to be released from my body. I can feel safe in my body. I let this go now. I let this go now. I let this go now. I relax my body and I choose to feel calm. Take one more nice deep breath. Exhale slowly. Before you finish, rate that level of intensity. If you need to, repeat this session. Any questions around this? type of work, drop me a line. Any questions about your IBD recovery, let me know. I've, I've been there, I know what it's like. I was diagnosed with UC in 2004. There is life beyond IBD, regardless of what you might read about or what other people are saying. Use all my sessions to support you while you recover. If you need any one-to-one -one support, get in touch, you know where I am. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're feeling much better soon. And I'll see you next time.